Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Clemson Tigers and the Duke Blue Devils. Number 12 is the type of player who can single-handedly influence the outcome of any ball game. This kid is great on the defensive end of the floor, Brad, but on the offensive end, he's virtually unstoppable. The Blue Devils will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Blue Devils should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, challenge every shot from the perimeter. Get right up in their faces, baby. Second of all, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And lastly, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. And now they'll bring it up. Ivy comes up with it. Wow, did you see the mask on the last coat? He was going crazy. He loved it. I loved it. Those are the things that keep me coming back. Love that spirit. The small forward takes the pass. Got the high pick. Those long arms trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. And up, easy one. Look at that, that's unbelievable, baby. On the outside, he puts up the three ball. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He looks for three. He's money with the shot. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Stolen away. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Good fake. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Up and inside. The ball goes out of bounds. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. The Tigers will step to the line for the first time. Misses his first shot. Hits his second. Number 21 has been. 
being praised by the crowd. What a great reception. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He tries to knock down the three. Knocks it down. The center gets the ball. Time to pick up the defense here now. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Shoots it. Drains the shot. three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. The shooting guard with the ball goes. Looking for a good shot. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Barry's at home. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Both teams looking to get things going here. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Trying to feed the low block. He looks at the hoop. They work the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Shot off. Down inside, Coker is emotionally pumped up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. With the free one. First one is good. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. They work it around the perimeter on the outside. The point guard takes the feed. Pull up jumper from way out. Watch again. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 35. Pump fakes. He fakes the shot with a little baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. With the fake. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. Clemson have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a two. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. 
Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now trying to feed the low block. Set that screen away. They go into the low block. Takes the pass in the paint. Up and inside. For two. Perfectly executed. He can't keep going for those steals. It's really hurting his team right now. The center gets the pass. Pushing up basketball. Sinks it. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. He's open if he wants the shot. From the top of the circle, he drains it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. There he is, strips the ball loose. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Low block. Clemson is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. I just love the history that goes along with their basketball program. The past grades, the championship years, the jerseys, the banners. Really, Dick, that's what this sport's about. Gets the rejection. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. It sticks. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For the bucket. And he scores it off the glass. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Puts up the tray. Gets it to go. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. In the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. With anticipation defensively. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Oh. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dump it inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Pushes it up. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. That was nice. They scored nine in a row. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Drains it. Entry pass in the paint. Fakes it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artet just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Need to make that. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from right in the circle. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. He fires from long range. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. It's electrifying in here. Way off target. The fake with a little baby hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Outside jumper. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Makes it. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Trying to draw some contact. Duke are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. top of the circle. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. They work it around the perimeter. A little frustration right there. And I 
it's basic. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Turns it over. And the fans here are loving the action. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. With the free throw. First one is no good. Second shot. The Tigers' composure is dropping by the second right now. Hey, they've got to pick themselves up. That's a sign of a good team. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. Up and inside. Picks off the pass. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. Stolen away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Intercepted from way downtown, way off target. At the end of the first half, the Blue Devils are ahead by 13. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Duke is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focused player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line. And that'll come if he becomes aggressive. Three off the rim and no good. They work it around the arc. Number 21 is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table.
This crowd is unbelievable today. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Coker steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. Side. And the ball goes out of play. Jumped in front to take it away. There's a slam. Hey, look out below, baby. Oh, my. Moving it around the perimeter. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. On the inside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Irwin handles the pass. Fake. Jump hook from the low post. Clemson are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There's the trap. Gets a hand in the way. Meeks was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. There's a double team waiting there. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Oh, hard screen felt by the defender. Looking for a good shot. Nice fake. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Drains the shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Picked off. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. That's a 10 nothing run. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Great play to take that to the basket.
Up and inside. He shoots from outside. Way off target. Gave it up. Working it around the perimeter. They've left him completely alone. For three, he gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. On the outside, he lets it fly. He gets the shot to fall. Looking for contact. Up, easy one. The student body is rocking tonight. They're rocking right now, my goodness. For two, oh yes. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Here they go into transition. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. We'll take the shot. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Duke have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And he missed. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Nick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Dump it inside. He intercepts it. It on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post player flashing. Top of the circle. In and out. Picks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. 
and the fans are going wild. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory, like a sixth man. it up way out on top controlling the ball he's going nowhere going ball nowhere. stolen it's going the other way that's where it's going turnover city baby gonna eliminate those turnovers for two dick you think they're gonna stay this hot hey it doesn't look like they're slowing down my friend picked out of the air Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Off the rim and no good. It's not unlikely to see nothing but blue in these stands during their home games. Tell you what, if you wear the wrong color in these stands, you may get into some trouble. Takes away the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Thanks, Aaron. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They'll work it around the arc. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. They work it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Up and inside. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter on the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a double team. Strips the ball. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. He's saying, get up, people. Get up. Now the high screen. Can't get the shot to drop. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Takes 
takes it off him. And back they come the other way. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. He strips him clean. Fast break opportunity here for two, and he scores it off the glass. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They look like they're having a blast. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Looking for the foul. Up and in. The Tigers are trailing by 26. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brian, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Looking for a good shot. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. the shot the Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment that he's on fire dump it inside for the bucket great play to take that to the basket Steals a pass. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Tries for two. Great shot. Picked off. Look out, here we go. He finished out with a beautiful alley-oop, Brad. Cameron Indoor Stadium is going wild. Blocked. Nice job defensively. He intercepts it. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. off the lazy pass. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
He takes it away. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Dad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Sinks the shot. And working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. With a deep shot from outside. Makes the shot. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. They work it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Picks off the lazy pass. Scorches the net. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shot clock is dead. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, or these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Dumps it in. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The ball goes out of play. The Blue Devils just seem to be frustrated out there, Dick. Hey, it doesn't take much to bring the emotional level down, Brad. All it takes is a couple of turnovers, missed shots, and poor decisions, and the coach even goes wacky. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a cap the way. Duke wins the game. With two teams like this, you knew the game was going to be close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.